Today's Gospel Thursday, May 18, is taken from St. John, chapter 16, verses 16 to 20. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father? So they said, What is this? little while of which he speaks we do not know what he means jesus knew that they wanted to ask him so he said to them are you discussing with one another what i said a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me amen amen i say to you you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices you will grieve but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Kat Hukaban. Hope In today's Gospel, Jesus seemed to have conveyed to his disciples that he will go through his passion, death, and resurrection. He talked about the possibility of not seeing them for a while which can cause grief. Passion and death yet assured them that their mourning will eventually turn into joy represented by the resurrection. In your life, have you ever felt hopeless because the pain you're going through seemed to have no ending? I did and I believe that there may be similar cases in the future wherein God will allow me to undergo such situations. But I also believe that He will also equip me to be able to overcome such challenges. In one homily, the priest beautifully shared an acronym for the word HOPE, which stands for H. Hold O. On P. Pain E. Ends Hold On pain ends. What a beautiful reminder to fix our thoughts on the promise that whatever trials we are going through, there is an end to it all, even in days when we feel there's no way out. Whatever are our circumstances, remember the promise that our grief will turn into joy. Jesus, only you can bring us true joy and peace in our lives. Let us pray. Jesus, you are my hope and my true joy. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.